This is OneUp Indie. In this video, we will implement a basic camera function for it to follow the player. For now, it was almost impossible to get out of the room or the level. You can actually do it. There is a sneaky way. Pause this video and try it out yourself. Push F5 and when it's loaded, hit backspace for full screen. I'll just wait here. Well, you guessed it. Push the big block to the right side and just jump outside. But now the player is gone, which is really not a good thing. How do we fix it? Simple, by doing three things. First we make the level much longer. Let's give it a width of, let's say, 8000 pixels. Then set a camera that only shows a piece of the level. And finally, we make the camera follow our player. Sounds easy, and it actually is. First step, make a long level. Go left on the properties and open room settings. There you can see the room has a width of 640 and 360 pixels. Let's change the width to a higher value, our 8000. Add or block objects on the collision boxes layer, like shown here, and delete those that will block your way. Finally, paint over them with the tiles from the tiles main layer. Second step, open the viewport and cameras and check the box Enable viewports as well as visible. You should see a white rectangle of the size of the viewport, which is your camera. And then go viewport 0. This is the first default camera and type in 640 and 360 as width and height. Third and last step, click on object following and assign our player to it. We are almost done here. The default values are very low and that's why we need to fix them as well. Change the horizontal border, let's say to 150. The camera will move with the player when he is 150 pixels to its border. Then give the horizontal speed a higher value, like 50, cause this is the horizontal scroll speed. Again, those values here I gave are arbitrary, you can play around with them, which work best for you. Hit F5 and it should work. There are more refined ways to implement the camera system, but they require a more complicated approach, which we will be doing in a more advanced game series. But for beginners this is more than enough and easy to set up. 